everyone, I'm doing a Shanaz today. I'm gonna scooch over here in a minute. I'm just looking at some of my decks because I feel potentially like I'm compelled to use some, but I'm not entirely sure. What I'm hearing is there, there's, there's a d card in here specifically that they're showing me. Mm, and it, it's it's actually enmeshed between the top and the bottom so I don't know if there's a card that's exactly this it says listen only to love and stay true to yourself and what I'm hearing is you deserve love you deserve to be loved you deserve love Shanaz that's a, that's an example that's coming through currently um and deserving is the one that was spilling out over there. So there's the word deserve here. So I think that's confirmation for me that there's a message coming through that's saying that you deserve love. And what does that mean that I'm seeing is because I feel the essence of potentially Siddharth. I mean, this I would say this confirms it too, the Ace of Cups, which is coming out right here. So it's confirmation that Siddharth is coming through and saying it I want to be clear that it's not that I see him and he wants to make this clear because it he doesn't want so I'm, I'm switching it as if I was talking to you Shanaz um, so Siddharth doesn't want you to confine him to his identity as Siddharth and you usually at this point don't you have transcended and I think you've already had that belief prior to him passing but you've had this belief of like seeing his essence and knowing him in his essence and not as his identity as Siddharth and so he wants to come through to verify like she, like me, I am not seeing him as the dark. Like, I can kind of see the qualities of what he looked like. But it's just as a frame of reference to fully reinforce the idea that it's him. But when I feel him, it's like his energy envelops me. Which in turn is showing that it envelops you. And that the words that I hear are not clear words. Like, sometimes I can pick up when I do readings it's just Im implanted into me. It's like imparted into my essence because that's the way that these energies communicate on such a higher level. And so he's doing this with you and you're aware of this. So this is confirmation for you. And he's saying that you deserve love. You deserve to stay true to yourself and to be open and to explore. And he's showing me a lion. He just showed me a lion and saying like, you need to roar like a lion, like, He's giving me, he just showed me like this example and it was like this flashback and it's kind of like, he sh he's showing me in like a children's story. So it's like if someone were to say like, you're a lion, you're fierce. And the kid's like, you know, and, and the, he's, he's telling the kid like, roar like a lion, be fierce. And the kid's like, roar. And he's like, fiercer, you're strong, roar. And then the kid's like, ah, like that. And he's like, go, go, explore. You deserve to explore the world. You deserve to just stretch beyond your imaginations and your wildest dreams. You deserve to have that. You deserve to be that. You deserve to live a life that is full of joy and full of imagination and exploration of every single confines of your mind and of your identity and beyond that. You deserve that. You are entitled to that. You are push to do that. I want you to do that. You have my blessing. You have my authority, which you don't ever need my authority. But there's this part of you that goes back to him to see if like, is this really okay? Because he's indicating how there's pain that's associated with his passing where it's like, you love him so much. And the time that has progressed, it's like, now it's been three months, now it's been eight months, now it's been a year, now it's so on and so forth. And that's an indicative of 
of the time that you've spent away from him. It's like, I don't really want to progress. No, it's, 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 I hope I can like really explain how I'm feeling, but if this were to resonate with you, then you would know exactly what I mean. Where, And I think anyone who has lost a loved one can relate to this in a lot of ways where it's like, it doesn't always get easier necessarily because it kind of highlights the gap of time between the last time I saw you. And it's a part of like wanting to honor that person by wanting to kind of remain in the past. When obviously things change and, and he is showing and, and you know this because I think this is like, go again with you identifying him as Siddharth and you identifying him as his essence and then you identifying your past and you identifying that the past doesn't exist, right? The past doesn't exist. Feelings come and go, like the truth is the truth, it transcends human emotion, it transcends our concept of time, and so that's not true, but it still feels that way, like it's, it's difficult to kind of, it takes a lot of practice to kind of pull yourself away from those practiced beliefs and a natural belief, right? It's like, it's like the more I change as a person, the more I don't relate to the person that I was when I knew him. And that hurts because I want to carry him with me in everything that I do. And so there's a resistance. And again, it's this highlight of transcending, transcendence. It's so important for you because you are transcending. And I actually, the other day, um, oh, I didn't even mention what today is. Let me look at the time. <laughs> It is November 18th. It's Friday. So I'm going to post this later today, but um, by the time you see it, if you're watching it in India and you watch it when I release it, then it's probably Saturday by the time you see this. Because I think it's, I don't know what time it is, but it's, you're, you should be sleeping right now if you're in India. <laughs> so, um... The other day, when someone asked to do a reading on Chanel's, the first word that I got was Bodhi, Bodhi, B-O-D-H-I. And was like highlighting her, highlighting her, highlighting her. Well, let me switch back as if I'm doing the reading for Chanel. So it was like highlighting you and that word. And I looked it up and it talks, it, it's named after, I think, it, I'm not sure, but I saw Siddhartha. I was like, oh my goodness, that's another confirmation right there. Um, I, it actually completely slipped my mind, but it came back now. And it was also, like, that's what you're experiencing, like, those final stages of enlightenment or, you know, like, realization of, like, like, I don't know, full, full awareness. And then I got an image and I'm getting the image again of you laying down. I don't know what it, what the technical term is, um, but they call it like corpse pose. So you're like laying on your back and your hands are up and I'm envisioning you doing this. And then like your aura, like there's a light that's surrounding you and there are people looking at you. there's a bird that's trying to get into my window. So that I was actually telling my uh, dad earlier today, cause there was a message coming through to him earlier today. And there was a different bird, a different bird kept coming to two, two or three of my different windows. And it was trying to come in. And I told him, I said, every time that I ignore a message or if someone else is ignoring a message, there's a bird that always tries to come into the window and that's confirmation for me. And how the day before, so two days ago, I 
got a message from my dad that I was ignoring and then I saw a black and white fox squirrel which is like semi rare and I ignored it and then right after that I was like if that's a sign then you know maybe I need something else to kind of like really kickstart it right and a few probably it was under an hour later I saw a black buck a deer a male deer and I've never seen one of those. I looked it up online and they're super rare. And so that was another sign for me. And then the bird that kept trying to come in. So now there's a bird that's trying to come in. And so I'm seeing this as a resistance from you. Another confirmation that there's resistance from you. And that you're getting signs and signs and signs. And on one part of you, it's like, like going back to that image of people looking at you and you being highlighted and you being lit up that's showing like that's your it's not just your fate or your, it's like your fate and your destiny and it's like you pushing yourself towards that anyway like you're moving towards that anyway right like change is inevitable but you're changing towards the direction of where you're meant to be but it's like let it flow right like there's parts of you again that are just like pulling back and resisting and there's a message coming through basically saying like it's not that it's not okay to do that but where you're at right now just do yourself the service of going forth fearlessly and courageously like a lion just do it um, and, I, and there's actually an association like travel like let's say for instance that you have prospects um, that are interested in you coming to America or there's like another country that you know you have this feeling that you may want to explore um, like career wise and go to these areas but there's a fear associated with it like an intimidation like maybe I don't speak the language or maybe they won't really like love me the way that people love me where I'm at and there's that push to do that like you are meant to try you're meant to explore you're meant to be seen and to be loved in all different um, languages so what I'm saying it's like all different areas and languages you're meant to be seen and to be loved and to be cherished and yellow is so important and it's bringing me back to one of the old readings that I did on you I remember seeing yellow and I think in some ways that's a lot of indicative of your energy in the sense that like I'm just relating it back to a lion like the lion is fierce it's intense it's strong and the Sun is fierce intense strong intimidating when you get up close to it um, you know it, willing to just be and like speak out it doesn't hide right it like shines a light um, on everyone and people who are comfortable in the shadows are uncomfortable around the sun right and it's cheerful it's beautiful and it's a life force is what I'm saying is it's they're showing me the Sun and how it's like such an essential part of growing and nurturing earth and so it's like your light is essential your energy is essential you you how much longer do you think you can contain your energy the sunshine in your hands <laughs> like how long do you think that that can happen it can't happen much longer um, you're gonna burst out of there so so please like take this blessing take this message take this opportunity and just allow allow yourself to be and then <laughs> they're showing me they're showing me Princess Diana and how she is known as the people's princess and 
I look and I'm like, when I, because I'm aware that I said they, and so I'm, I said to myself, I'm like, how do I explain who they is? And then I, I, to, in a more clear way, and I saw my guardian angels, and then I saw Siddhar, and then it like zooms me out and I could see, and by seeing it's again their essence, so I could just feel their presence, and it's like, eternity I don't know it just feels like forever like this is your destiny this is your path you are in a similar sense the people's princess in that those who love you value you and cherish you and appreciate you and you are a rescue in a lot of ways in a time that's like very stressful or it's like even if someone's personal life or home life is is uncomfortable it's like you are the light that is shown through their tv or wherever that's that's illuminating their life it's this soft spot that they can kind of just feel safe in and it's not in a codependent way. It's like this is your purpose. This is your your journey. This is what you're meant to do. It's this. It's you're a saving grace to a lot of people by you following your passions. And and they're showing me how Princess Diana didn't want to be in the spotlight. She didn't want that. Um, and so what she would do is go to these places that like needed to be highlighted because these people were suffering or there was like something going on there, right? My camera only records for a certain amount of time so I have to restart. But anyway, so she would go to these different places and kind of highlight these areas, right? For people to kind of be aware of what's going on there. And I see that similarity with you in the sense that you are being guided or you will be guided to areas that will somehow bring attention to people who need to be seen. The difference is your calling is to be a celebrity, is to be in the spotlight, is to enjoy your life and to enjoy being out there. but that sensitive nature in you, that loving nature, nurturing nature in you is, is to be a focus and to be cherished. I hope this is making sense. So you're supposed to be traveling somewhere, um, multiple places. This is a separate message than what I was saying where like you feel called to go somewhere and you're fearful of that. That is part one. Part two is you traveling to different places and just highlighting something important there um, with these people. And I'm seeing you in purple. It's like a purple dress or a purple shawl and it has like little glitter, like spots all over it, like yellow glitter, glitter like something like that. It's really pretty. Um, I'm seeing that. We have light beings, soul name, color. Okay. And I heard, um, <laughs> this is what's peeking out. I heard when I was pulling this, um, why are you, see it goes flying. Anyway, um, why are you pulling from this when you already pulled it again? It's going to be the same message. And then the same messages came through. Um, because it, it's the same thing. Um, which is essentially like with light beings. Yeah, I, I usually see this as like literal in the sense of like aliens. But this is reminding me of something else that I saw with you. Where I see like your brain. It's literally splitting your brain up in my head, so I'm seeing it split down in the middle, and then it's like your frontal lobe, your parietal lobe, left, you know, all that, and it's showing like each lobe or each part of your brain getting lit up, lit up, lit up, lit up, lit up, lit up, 
and then there's like a like an energy above it like your crown chakra hmm no, that's not right. Um, it's more than that. It's like beyond that. It's it's above that. Um, not above that, but like all encompassing above here, above your entire head. Um, like that. Probably like that far off your head. Think up here. <laughs> and they're basically saying like you already know all of this. The only thing that's kind of like Basically, like, it's it's the dar that comes through and he's saying, like, it's, it is okay to grieve, but not too long. And so he's like, it's okay to grieve, you know, and it's kind of in a smug way, like, in a, like, teasing manner. Um, you know, it's kind of like, almost like arrogant, but like a teasing arrogant. Like, I know, I'm so great, uh, you love me, I'm so amazing, I'm so awesome, <laughs> like, all of these different things. It's like that, but then he's saying, but not too long. Like, you don't have to grieve too long. Like, you know the truth. You know what's going on here. And he's bringing me back to a time. And he's showing me you guys, like, laying in bed, it feels. Or you're, like, you're laying on your backs. And you're, like, snuggled up to him. And it feels like he's talking with his, like, left hand mostly. And he's, like, pointing up. So you're laying on your back and then I can see in, like around me it's like there's like black objects or like contrasting objects so it's like contrasting colors so like dark wooden material or like dark colors or like red maybe like cherry wood or like something dark contrasted with something light there's like wherever you're at that's what I've been seeing and he's pointing back to that conversation. And he's not telling me what's in the, what the context is, but he's just like, do you remember that conversation? And he's like pointing up, like in that conversation, you guys are like snuggled. You're like nuzzled into him and he's talking and looking up and he's looking at you. And he's like laughing. He's like, you don't ever forget that. Like, don't ever forget the conversation. <laughs> And they want me to point out the heart on this. <laughs> so they're showing me, like, pointing out the heart. Like, show the heart on here. And I think this is a good, it's, it says visualize. And it says you are the universe here. I, just, I think these are both relevant. But it says visualize. And then it has, like, a lotus that's floating up here. And I, I would take this literal in the sense like visualize yourself as this because um as you meditate or as you connect or as you you grow spiritually and you grow in your journey you grow in your path visualize this visualize you visualize what you experience what you see and trust yourself and trust your process and and it, you know back to like what i was saying where they're basically saying it's okay to grieve, but not too long. It's now time for you to really take your place in this path and like start walking. Like you, we don't have to hold your hand anymore. Um, nothing has changed or will change in terms of like sp spiritually, right? Like beyond here that always is and always will be and always has been. So, so allow yourself to just enjoy right now. 
courageously, fiercely, self-assured. I saw, I saw a dog, I think, or like, I thought he said doll. Like, you'll always be my doll, but then I was like, is that a dog? And then I saw a dog, or like, a, a, some animal that's like, black and white in spots. And I think that's a theme here, because I brought up the black and white animals that I saw. I was taking note of that. It was like, a little bit in the back of my head, I was taking note of that. And then, it just like, keeps coming up, so, and then the contrast. Um, that I was seeing in that. Um, and there's one slight message. It's coming through very subtly. But it is coming through. About. How. Not everyone is going to like you. And that's just the way it is. Right. And. It's in, it's in a supporting way. It's not like, we're warning you that not everyone's going to like you. That's not what they're saying. It's just a support of... It would be unnatural for every single person to ever see the value in you. They can only meet you on their personal growth or whatever, you know? So just confirmation for you, you know, it's like, I love mangoes. Not everyone's going to love a mango, you know, and on top of that, I'm not going to love every single mango because one of them might not be that good. They might be, you know, tasteless or rotten or whatever, you know, I'm not saying a person's rotten, but it's like, I'm not even going to, someone who loves mangoes is not going to like every single mango that's out there. So it's kind of the same thing where it's like, it's, it's not possible it's impossible to please everyone it's impossible to be well loved by everyone well received by everyone so like just have fun just go out there because you will you will be successful you will be loved this is part of your journey this is part of your path and you're just doing a really good job so far <laughs> so that's what I see uh, for Shanaz, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.